still trying to get these ollies down, man. It's tough, but never give up, eh? So what I'm figuring out is if I put my feet closer to the front bolts, the better it is. I mean, I think my foot is too far back. So when I actually pop, the timing is out. So I'm kind of like placing my foot more close to the bolts. It's kind of like giving me more pop. So let's keep trying. definitely working so let's give a couple of rolling or ollies a try and see what happens Hey guys, I think what's important here is that when you doing these repetitive ollies over and over and over again, you kind of like fatigue yourself out and you start getting tired and then you start having more room for errors and then you feel like you're not getting anywhere. So I think it's important just to chill a bit, take a break from the ollie, do something else, give yourself five minutes and go back to it and you'll see there'll be a complete difference. I think people underestimate skateboarding, it takes a lot of fitness, especially the legs, and especially when you're at my age. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I, I'm just picking these things up as I go, so I think it's important just to do your trick, and when you start feeling that fatigue kick in, take a break and come back to it, otherwise you're just gonna mentally, you're gonna mess yourself up, you're just gonna start thinking, when am I gonna do this, how am I gonna get this? You know, and your mind starts telling you those stories. But uh, yeah, just take a break and then go back to it and I'm sure you'll see there's a great difference. It just give your muscles a bit of a rest. Cool, let's keep going. Hey guys, yeah, so what I can take away from this session is I'm just trying to get my ollies down. I mean, I think it's important to get it down. I know it's the same trick over and over, but I think the ollie is the foundation. You know, you can't build a house without a foundation, so I think it's important just to get the ollies down, have fun with it, and take it too seriously, otherwise, it's just going to become a burden. So, don't forget to have fun and just keep going at it. I mean, if you think about it, if you got the ollie, you can start ollieing over things. You know, the ollie leads to, to all great things, <laughs> tricks. And once you've got them down, you can at least start going over obstacles, ollieing curbs, and just become one with your board. That's all I'm trying to do, is just become one with my board again. You know, get the balance strong, get the basic techniques down, the riding techniques. I'm actually going to start riding to work from the bus uh, in town there because the surfaces are great, they're like butter. And just getting used to rolling around, you know, maneuvering the board around. And then just keep popping my ollies and 
until I got that ollie down, then we'll start moving into front side ollies, back side ollies, and taking it from there, you know. I think it's just important to be patient with yourself and have fun with it, man. That's all I want to leave with you guys. Thanks for liking. Please subscribe. Click that like button. As they say, smash it. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching again, man. Bye. So you guys probably want to know why I keep my skateboard in the garage. Go ahead, the skateboard stays in the garage. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, it's not going to shit on the rug.